Welcome to Crash Course Spine. Here is an overview of today's lesson. First, we will be using the translate tool to adjust the root bone of our character so that it sits between his two feet. I'll show you how we can use the compensate tool to adjust the position of our bones without moving their associated assets. Finally, we'll start the rigging process. In this tutorial, we'll be making the torso bone and then adding the bones for both our right and left arm. We'll look at the best practices of renaming our bones automatically and quickly selecting and associating slots to them. With all that said, let's start the lesson. To start with, we want to take our root bone, which is on the bottom left corner of our green background at the moment, and we want to place it between this character's feet. We select the translate tool and move it. However, all the slots associated with the root bone move with it. At the moment, we want our slots to stay in place when we move the bone. To do this, we go to Compensate and click Bones and Images. Now when we move the root bone, our slots or assets do not move with the bone. So we can place it where we want to. Now we go back to the Compensate tool and unselect Bones and Images. With our root bone still selected, we go to our Translate tool and adjust the X and Y coordinates for the root bone to 0, 0. Since we have disabled compensation for the bones and images, all our assets for the root bone move with it to its new position. Now we can start creating bones. With the root bone selected, press N to activate the create tool. Hold down control and select our character's torso by clicking on it. Now create a bone for the torso by holding down and dragging the cursor. Release the left mouse button when you are happy with how the new bone looks. With our torso bone created, we can make the bone for the right arm. Hold down control and select the right arm. With control still pressed, select the right forearm, the right hand, the handle of the drill and the top part of the drill. Click and drag to create the right arm bone. If you go back to the tree view and navigate to our newly created bone, we can see all the slots that we have selected are now inside our right arm bone. In other words, the right arm bone is parent to these assets. Hence, when we rotate this bone, all these slots rotate with it. Now return to the create tool by pressing N and select the right arm bone. Hold down control and select the forearm asset. Click and drag and release to create the forearm bone. Hold down control again and select the right hand asset. Click drag and release once more to create the right hand bone. Lastly, hold down control again and select the drill. With control still held down, select its handle as well. Now click drag and release to create the bone for the drill. If you go back to the tree view and navigate to our newly created bone, we can see that the bone has been renamed to our hand tool. This is because when we were creating this bone, we had held down control and had selected the drill and the drill handle to be made children to this bone. Our drill asset is actually called our hand tool. So when we made this bone, Spine automatically renamed this bone according to our asset. This practice saves us a heap of time when rigging our character. So with our right arm rigged, we can work on the left arm. Press N to activate the create tool. Since we want our torso bone to be the parent of the new bone we will be creating for the left arm, make sure to select the torso bone. With the torso bone selected, hold down control and select the left arm asset. With control still held down, select the left forearm, the left hand and the left flashlight asset. Now click and drag to create the left arm bone. Notice that as you drag this bone, it is labeled bone. However, once you release the left mouse button, the name automatically changes to left arm. I find this auto renaming feature a great time saver. Now we hold down control again and select the left forearm asset. By clicking, dragging and releasing the cursor, we create the left forearm bone. We repeat the same steps for the left hand and the tool he is holding. Finally, we hit C to activate the rotate tool and check to see if our bones rotate as we want them to. Once happy, we can save our work.